Durham's such an amazing place. So any chance we can help improve it and make a visible impact, I think that's an opportunity Duke football jumped on. And that's why we're out here every weekend to uh, help out the Bull City. The school needs the city. The city needs the school. They have the chance to work really well together. They're clearly working really well together here. Both are very important for each other. Habitat for Humanity is such a great program, so we're just so happy to be a part of it. Hey, loving this, man. Loving to give back to the community. I've done it once before, so it's good to be back out here doing this stuff, helping the community, something that really makes a difference, you know? Dude, football is here. It's so rewarding, very exciting. I grew up in Durham. Duke Hospital is right up the street from where I currently live, so it's just like family, community. It means so much to me having the community come out and actually help build on my very own home. We got windows. <laughs> it's a great organization. It's fun to, to be involved in building those homes. Uh, the owners being involved with you, there's a, something special to that. Our players have found that out. Habitat for Humanity changed my whole outlook about who I can become and what I can be. I felt like, how in the world can you take me from a place of eviction six times or seven times to a place of having my own home because I couldn't see it, but Habitat for Humanity gave me hope. But it was not just credit repair, it was mental preparation for where I needed to go. I can get a conventional loan now. Um, it was no problem getting that. When I ran my credit, they said, oh yeah, you can get anything you want. So when I sold my home for Habitat, from Habitat for Humanity, I gave back generously to be a blessing to another woman like me, a single displaced woman, so she can build a home for her children. I have a nine-year-old, Jemiah. Um, that's my girl, and I have a five-year-old, Anthony, and that's my boy. At one point in time, I couldn't even give them a warm place to sleep. Um, it's been nice. They spend the night at the nursing home while I work, and it's been nights nice where I could have a hotel room for them, but never a home. They always smile and they always been happy wherever we had to lay our head at. Duke especially um, has a huge responsibility to Durham. You know, we have a kind of saying like Bull City Proud. And I think the connection between Duke and Durham has strengthened over the years and will continue to strengthen because, you know, one can't survive without the other. Definitely a place where they can explore, figure out some things, get on mommy's nerves. Having a yard and, you know, being able to invite, invite friends over and family over, and, you know, everybody just taking it in, enjoying the home. This house has become a home to them, you know, and, and that is incredible.